If you're looking to get some focused practice with SAT boundaries questions, you've come to the right place. Just make sure to pause the video and try each question on your own first. Let's get started. Let's start with an easy question here. And for boundaries questions, I do like to focus on just the sentence containing the blank space. So I'm gonna start from this type. This type of random continuous movement, which is known as Brownian motion. Okay, so right here, which is known as Brownian motion. We got a comma, there should be a comma sandwich because this is a non-restrictive relative clause or in more simple terms, it is extra information that we could get rid of uh, from the sentence. So we should have a comma sandwich, which is B. That way we're starting with a comma and we're ending with a comma. So our answer is B. All right, let's move on to a medium question. This one is one big long sentence, so we'll start from the beginning. According to NN of the University of Edinburgh, the reason seeds from dying dandelion appear to float in the air while falling is that their porous plumes enhance drag, allowing that to... All right, I'm gonna ignore the end here because this is some extra information. We could basically end the sentence at drag. I'm also gonna get rid of this introductory phrase. So I can just really focus on this main sentence. The reason seeds from a dying dandelion appear to float in the air while falling is that their porous plumes enhance drag. That's my sentence. And the entire first part is a really long subject. Um, it's the reason and then everything after the word reason until the word is is still part of the subject. We don't want to separate our main subject from its verb, so we don't need any punctuation. So our answer is D. And let's end with a hard one. So again, we've got a really long sentence, so I'll start from the beginning. The TM Museum in Uncastville, Connecticut was founded in 1931 with the goal of showcasing the culture and history of the Mohegan tribe. And today, or today, nearly a century later, it is the oldest native owned and operated museum in the country. All right. So for this one, since we have some options with, you know, comma and so according in conjunction here, which would imply an independent clause before it, I'm going to check for independent clauses is what I'm going to do. So basically, when we get to tribe, is that an independent clause? And to help, I'm going to simplify this into the museum. So in my head, I'm thinking the museum, the museum was founded in 19. 31 with the goal of showcasing the culture and history of the Mohegan tribe, period. Yes, that is an independent clause. Okay, so then after that, starting with today, do we have another independent clause? Today, nearly a century later, is the oldest native owned and operated museum in the country. Yes, that's an independent clause. So a comma and a coordinated conjunction like choice A would indeed separate two independent clauses. That's it. Working through specific problem areas like you just did is a great way to improve your score, especially when you couple that with practice exams that resemble the real thing. To sign up for a free proctored practice exam that you can't find anywhere else, go ahead and use the link in the description.